She's a former Miss Jamaica World contestant turned reality star. Jamaican-born Lisa Milan is one of the cast members of the newest Real Housewives series, The Real Housewives of Dubai, and she has the most epic tagline in Housewives history. Good morning, Lisa. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Good morning. How are you? I'm awesome. I'm ready to take my notes, girl. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> Talk to me about that journey, Lisa, from here to America and then to Dubai. Well, I was born in Kingston. I grew up in Jamaica until I was around 12. And then I moved to the U.S. Uh, where I went to university. And then one thing led to the next. And now I'm in Dubai. I like to say made in Kingston, packaged in Miami, exported to Dubai. Absolutely. They are lucky to have you. And the Real Housewives franchise is huge. And so when we heard that you were going to be on it, right? yes, a Jamaican is on it. Yes, How did you know, think about what Talawa, we're everywhere. Yes. <laughs> How did that unfold? So um, they came to Dubai. They... Um, did a casting for a few of the girls that were in my friend group and they saw my Instagram page. They reached out to me and they were like, you fit everything that we're looking for as far as a real housewife. And I did the audition with my friends and they chose our friend group. Yeah, I know. And because sometimes people watch and say, how did this person make real housewives? They're not a housewife. You are a super housewife. I was watching last night with Miss Goat and I was like, oh. <laughs> Lisa, please keep oh. the goat. Keep the goat. How is Miss Goat? How can you bring a goat to a Jamaican's house? I mean, if we're not going to curry it, we're going to manage water it or something, <laughs> right? But, you know, um, my kids love Miss Goat so much. She's such a beautiful addition to our family. Yeah. And you just have to wait to see what happens with Miss Goat. But I promise you I didn't curry her. Oh, please. She's I'm begging you. I'm begging you, Lisa. Twitter, Twitter was a fire when they saw Miss Goat. They were like, why did they bring a goat to a Jamaican house? But, but what's I'm... it like, your mom to three people? beautiful boys what's it like being a boy mom it's amazing i'm so spoiled and i never thought i would be a boy a boy mom because i'm so girly i'm the girliest girl you can ever imagine yeah but you know they 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 basically ground me you know they made me you know i'm quite grounded because of them i'm not gonna lie yeah. um, but it's amazing i love them so much they're mama's boys and I'm so spoiled. Well, listen, as soon as your husband popped up on the screen, everybody was like, wait a minute. Here, uh, there's a hot husband in Real Housewives. But he's also so wise. Like, we, we watch the conversations that he has, and he comes in. He doesn't try to get messy in, in girls' business. And he uh, always and tries to center you. Yeah. Yeah, he does. He He's really, really supportive, but he's also very level head. Yeah. Me, I'm sometimes a little bit hot headed. So it's a good it's a good balance. You know, he he's the king of giving me perspective. Mm -hmm. You know, he'll, he'll shade you without you even know you're being shaded. I know. Um, <laughs> Last night he was like, honey, don't fight with a 50 year old influencer. I was like, <gasps> you know, like there's levels to it, Lisa. You, she's not on your level, you know, so don't worry about her. <laughs> you know, keep you keep sprinkling all that black girl magic and let her be basic. Yeah. yeah. Part of the magic for me is the fact that you get to showcase your work. You're a great designer. And in this Thank season, you. you get to launch um, a collection. Talk to me about that. So um, when I competed in Miss Jamaica World, I went on to doing Miss Jamaica. Inter I was Miss Jamaica International. So I had to compete. Oh, I'm wearing that one right now, the <laughs> one in the white. <laughs> um, so I had to, I went to China to compete and represent Jamaican Miss International. Mm -hmm. So we didn't really have a budget for wardrobe, but I had a background in fashion. So I designed like my national costume and everything. And my fashion career basically took off from that. So it took off from me being Miss Jamaica International. Mm -hmm. um, I went on to designing for all of Miami's socialites. And then I couldn't find maternity wear that looked really good, flattering to my body. So I designed my first collection, which has been worn by Beyonce, just to name, just to name drop. Just to name a few. <laughs> 
to name a few. And it just took off from there. You know, the Beyonce effect is a real thing. And um, on the show, you get to see the launch of my new ready to wear. So it's post pregnancy mm -hmm. wear. So I feel like as I grow as a mom, as a woman, the collection and the brand itself grows as well. That's so awesome. now we're doing post pregnancy wear. Absolutely, yeah. Mina Rowan, and, and that's it. So I, I know you got some great friendships on the show. You also got some interesting castmates. <laughs> yes. How do you how do you balance that? Because you said it. A lot of people go, oh, wait, Lisa from College Hill is gonna jump at these girls any minute, but we haven't <laughs> seen that. Uh, how how do you balance that with your castmates? You know what? I feel um, Milan from College Hill and Lisa Milan now is a completely different person. And I think the beautiful thing is people get to see my growth. I'm now a wife. I'm a mom, um, an entrepreneur. I own a very successful business. I'm not going to be jumping across tables. And I'm also Jamaican. You know, like we know how, when, where and how. So um, I want to represent myself, my, my country, my people and women that look like me in a positive way. So so I will check you at the door, but I probably won't do it by flipping a table. <laughs> <laughs> we'll check you, but you won't make it to the plane, girl. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. For Same folks way. who are watching, Lisa, they want to keep up with all that's happening with you. Of course, they have to watch The Real Housewives of Dubai as well. Where do they yes. find you? I'm on Instagram at Lisa Milan, and I'm Lisa with an E because my mother always knew I was destined to be something special. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. So Lisa with an E, Lisa Milan on Instagram. All right, Lisa, it's so great to, to chat with you and keep up with you. You are representing us so well. So happy to see you on the international platform. And, and listen, we got to do some work together, man. We got to do some Absolutely. work on your collection. We'll talk about it. Lisa, love it, love Lisa it. Absolutely. Milan, Real Housewives. Listen, when she dro drop the tagline so they know what I'm talking about. <laughs> What's my tagline again? The only thing um, you, you can, the only thing you can take from me oh, is notes. Yes, that's nice. The only thing you can take from me are notes. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> nice catching up with you, girl. You too. Thank you so much. Thank you, Smile. All right, guys, make sure you go on and show us some love on our social media handle, Lisa Milan from Real Housewives of Dubai. More and smile in just a moment. Take those notes, ladies. Take those notes.